Hey there, it's MKJ. So this is a video talking about the interactive video marketing best practices that you can use to actually build relationships. Why do we want to do that? Well, my question to you is, would you prefer passive viewers of your videos that lead to transactions only? Or would you like engaged viewers of your content that actually lead to the potential for deeper, more longer lasting relationships for your business? That's my question. If you are the latter and you would prefer long lasting relationships and engaged uh, viewers, then please keep listening because everything I'm going to tell you in this video will lead you down that path. So the majority of the work that you do in video creation is all put in before you record. Otherwise, you'll stumble around through quite a few takes before you produce anything that would be meaningful to your audience or your business. So number one, Decide if you're going to make a short clip or a longer conditional logic or a decision tree type of video, which we called sessions. So when you make that decision, it will impact your video, the end video that you create. Here are the main factors of a very effective video. Number one, start with the end in mind. What do I mean by that? Well, where do you want to take people? What action do you want them to take? I did this all the time in chatbot building. We would start building a chatbot, but if the customer didn't know where they wanted to take people, is it a landing page, a VSL, a webinar registration, a email opt-in, uh, another video or chatbot, um, you know, if you don't know where you're going, you can't build the road to get there. So start with the end in mind. Okay, that's number one. Then number two, what content can you present to your audience that nurtures them on their way to take that action? So if I'm going to want someone to go to a webinar, well, the content in the nurturing phase needs to show them exactly why they might want to sign up for the webinar. What about the webinar speaks to them? It has to be nurturing about them, not you, right? Finally, uh, what you need to start with uh, at the beginning of your video is actually what's going on in their mind that will attract them to watch this video. Again, if it's a webinar, what exactly is that impulse that makes them go, oh, this is for me, right? What conversation is going on in their mind? If you want to call it a hook or, um, you know, an enticing part that, that makes your viewer think you know what they need. So you start with the end in mind. You do the messy middle of the nurture. Okay, what do they need to know to keep watching and then take that action? And then why do they have to watch to begin with, which is the beginning part. Once you get that, you need to add a two second pause wherever in the video you want to create an interactive element or what we call a, a pop up or a pop over. So wherever that's going to be, just pause and stare at the screen. I know it feels weird. Stare at the screen for two seconds to, uh, to just let that pop up happen without stumbling over all your words. And then also a two second pause at the end, if you're going to have any kind of a call to action. So if you're going to send them to a webinar or your website or an opt-in or uh, another piece of content, whatever you're going to send them again, before you stop recording, just have a two second pause. We're talking one, 1,000 to 1,000. Now, once you've done all of that, you are all set to record. These are the marketing tips that I have to tell uh, almost every single one of our partners that are part of Relatable right now, um, because most of us can't do our own marketing. If we did, it would be just like surgeons uh, operating on themselves. We can't do that. We can see other people's situations and other people's obstacles, but we usually can't see them for ourselves. So that's what I'm going to ask you to do. End in mind, nurture in the middle, and uh, what's going on in their head that's going to make them even interested in watching this video add the two second uh, pauses, and uh, you are ready to rock. Have fun while you're doing it too. Be real, be remembered, and be relatable. See you next time.